Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. As the U.S. continues to grapple with a widespread opioid epidemic, alarming research from Seattle indicates that the local population is consuming so much oxycodone that it's seeping into the local water supply. Scientists at the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife have found traces of oxycodone in the Puget Sound using a study involving mussels. The shellfish are filter feeders who gain nourishment from their surroundings while simultaneously absorbing whatever contaminants are also in the water, making them an ideal barometer for environmental scientists to test water pollution in a given area. What we eat and what we excrete goes into the Puget Sound, Jennifer Lanksbury, a biologist at the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, told CBS Seattle affiliate KIRO. It's telling me there's a lot of people taking oxycodone in the Puget Sound area. While mussels don't actually metabolize drugs like oxycodone, fish do. Scientists have even shown, or I should say studies have even shown, that certain species like the zebrafish will willingly dose themselves if given the opportunity. Wow! So you may have fish that will seek these uh, opioids out if they sense that there is something in the water that is containing them they'll eat it because they want to experience it uh, that's how I'm interpreting that but folks there is a serious opioids epidemic in the United States of America doctors seemingly are too willing to prescribe these things and when they become unavailable people turn to heroin this is nothing to laugh at this is very serious I will leave you a link to this. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Give this video a thumbs up. Check out the link below to my new fiction book, Light, a Wayfarer story, available in Kindle and paperback. Stay woke. Stay aware. Eyes open. Read that book, folks. Most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. Artificial intelligence, weird weather, power outages, disappearing politicians, pestilence, gun control, civil unrest, a new economy, a new world order, signs in the heavens, end times deception, stay woke, read light, a wayfarer story, available in Kindle and paperback at the link below.